In this video, I'll demonstrate the scan fax capabilities on the Konica machine. From the home screen, choose Scan Fax. Starting on the left, you'll see Address Book, Direct Input, Job History, and Address Search. Click on Direct Input if the name is not already registered in the Address Book. Enter your email. Job History shows a history of scans or faxes. Address Search would be used if your machine is connected to your Outlook directory. You can see I have a test email already set up. To register a new address in the address book, click on Address Registration, click on New, choose the type of address, Email, enter the name, and after you enter the name, put in your email and click on Favorites. If you don't click on Favorites, the name will not show up in the main display. At the bottom, it shows the basic features. You can see that it's in one-sided as default, 200 dpi, auto color. To change it to two-sided, just click on that, change it to two-sided. Resolution is in 200. You can bump it up all the way to 600 dpi. The right side is for faxing. Auto color, it will detect the color on the document. You can also take it down to grayscale or black and white. Reset clears your settings back to the default. Next is file type, most common being PDF. You also have compact PDF, which is just a smaller version of a PDF. The default is a multi-page scan. A nice option is page separation. If you click on page separation, it will separate each page into its own PDF. For example, if you had 10 pages, choose an email address, scan with uh, page separation, and you will have one email, 10 PDFs. Or you can change it to send you an email per file. PDF detail, detail setting, you can encrypt your document, password protect if you'd like. Scan size, the default is auto, or you can choose a specific size. An example of that would be if you're scanning a small original on the glass. If you placed a small original on the glass, a card, a receipt, something like that, it may give you an error because it cannot detect the size. So this would be an example of choosing a size. I chose 8.5 by 11 and now anything within the 8.5 by 11 image area will fit on that scan. Reset. You can also change the subject and the name of the file. The application button. This just has extra application options, one of which is separate scan. The Konica Minolta capacities in the feeders are pretty large. This one that I'm on as a 300 page capacity feeder. Depends on the model and the feeder that's installed. However, if you have a scan that exceeds the capacity of that feeder, separate scan is a job build feature. So you're not just limited to the capacity of the feeder for your scan. Some additional options, quality, density, stamping, page numbering, etc. Reset clears back to the default. The program button. Click on program if you would like to save for a preset for the future. For example, if I wanted to save an 8.5 by 11 scan for a small original, I could program that in. Click on not, reg not registered and then register. Put in a name and you'll have a name for that preset in the future. 
Click on the house to return to the home screen. 